Well guys, I'm out here. I'm going to try to get a good morning squirrel hunt on. Still got some snow on the ground. Again, I'm hunting with the 22 Marlin. But anyways, we're going to get on in here. See if we can't try to kill something. Well guys, I've been hunting for about an hour. I've scanned about every tree here with these binoculars. Haven't saw the first squirrel, haven't heard the first squirrel. It's been rough. It really has been. I'm going to turn this into a little vlog thing where I just take you guys with me through my day, even if I don't kill a squirrel, because I've been in four hunts, four squirrel hunts, that I've not seen a single squirrel. I'm trying to make a video for y'all. Y'all keep saying in the comment section, do more squirrel hunting videos. And I want to do more squirrel hunting videos. I really love squirrel hunting. But I just ain't been killing them. So I'm going to start taking y'all with me. Even though I didn't, don't kill stuff. But we're still going to try to kill the squirrel. This is just the beginning. Well guys, squirrel hunting didn't work out that well. But at least I feel like I learned something every time I go out. And that's what I really want to do. But Well guys, because nothing else is working out today, I'm going to just take my 22, go about 100 yards away, and try to shoot that bottle. Well guys, I didn't make it to 100, but I made it to about 70. I'm not for sure either. But the bottle is way out there. We're going to try to shoot it. All right. Here we go. First shot. There's a dud. All right. There we go. Shooting pretty good. Here it is. Oh, but uh. Oh, yeah, I hit it. I hit the very bottom corner. You know, I didn't hit much of it, but I hit it. I'm going to shoot it again, but go back as far as I possibly can this time. Okay, so for this one, I went in the house and got the range finder just to see. And it is 93 yards. Now, I've never shot anything this far. Well, I have, but I missed. All right, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to try it. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. 93 yards. Safety's off. Oh, I hit the brick. Hit the brick right under it. All right, I'm going to aim right at the top of it. Hit behind it. Hit right behind it again. I'm going to zoom y'all in a little bit more. I hit the brick, guys. I hit the brick right dead in the center. I'm still going for the bottle, though. Hit the gravel. We're going to hit this thing, though. But I'm out of bullets. Oh, God. Got to go get more bullets. We're going to hit this thing before I go inside. Even though it is lunchtime, and I want to eat a corn dog, I'm going to make a... I'm going to hope... But that's enough bullets. Six, seven. I don't know how many that was. All right, guys, there's the bottle. Same distance, 93 yards. Here we go. I hit way low right there. Oh, another dud. I'm sending this to Federal. Low again, alright, but same spot as the first one that was low. There we go. I think I still hit low, but I hit it. I had to hold, I was hoping all five inches above it right there. Oh well, good enough for me. Well guys, it's later that evening. 
It's warmed up a whole lot. A lot of the snow's melted. So hopefully the squirrels be out more than they were this morning. This woodpecker's going crazy on this branch. But anyways, I'm gonna get on in here. Try to kill the squirrel. Well guys, I've been reading a little bit on the internet. And it says that a lot of times, when it gets really cold like this, the squirrels don't even come out. But I'm about positive these are squirrel tracks right here. I mean, I'm about positive that they are. But I mean, there's fresh nut holes down there and everything. It's late season, really cold, snow on the ground. And I ain't seen a single, single squirrel. Well, guys, to be honest, I had given up. I was hunting a woodpecker when I caught a glimpse of a squirrel running, sprinting through the treetops. And I think he, I think he's in that tree right there. I think he's either in it or on the other side. Well guys, as soon as I turned off the GoPro, he must heard the beep and he jumped up, took off. Then I turned the GoPro on real quick back. I got a shot off at him. I didn't hit him. He's still on the back side of that other tree this time. But I'm gonna have to get up a little bit closer. I really rushed that shot, I really did. Shouldn't have done that. It's part of learning and I'm happy I'm seeing squirrels this time. I'm actually seeing squirrels. That's made my day. I'm just gonna have to keep hunting a little bit. If I can get this guy, if I can get him, ooh, it'll be good. It's a den tree. He got in the hole. Well guys, that was it. I seen a squirrel. I took a shot at him. And he ran away and got in the hole. I figured I'd try to trick the squirrel and throw some sticks on the other side of the tree. See if he'd turn around. But I, I wasn't thinking too good. Picked up about a 15 pound log and chucked it over there as far as I could. Which as far as I could was about five feet from me. So it didn't help me at all. His cousin was right over the hill from me the whole time. Just, just playing in the leaves. I was about to take him out. But I really couldn't get a clear shot on him either. That's about it guys. I'm definitely coming back squirrel hunting. Now that it's warmed up. Now that the squirrels are come out. I'll be back out here soon. So look forward, look forward to some good squirrel hunting. Because I will be back.